Hey guys, Romy here, so please like, comment, subscribe, this is my review for How to Get Away with Murder, Season 4, Episode 1. What was it? I'm going away. Now, the episode threw me off because I feel like every show that's come back recently has done a time skip, every time jump into the future, every single one of them. So it just throws me off when we come back and everyone's different and all their lives have changed, but still have, but somehow are still the exact same way. I need you guys to, if you guys are uh, follow me, uh, you know, click the subscribe button. If you've never, ever, ever clicked the notification button before, please do so now. Because I'm sure if you watch other reviews or the people on YouTube, you've already heard this. But YouTube's doing a lot of policy changes. And I guess they're pushing out videos and content even less than they were before. Uh, less frequently than they were before. And uh, because of that you guys i do multiple videos a week about different shows if you don't uh click the the notification then how, then how are you supposed to how are you supposed to know when i have a video up because you know i usually put it up the next day or a couple of hours after the show's over so either way after a day or so you, you may be thinking wait a minute wasn't i supposed to be watching something yeah that's me so please press the notification please subscribe if you're not a subscriber uh, so we get into this review. Annalise, she's typing up her little letter. This is something that she's sending to all the students. Well, <laughs> Oliver isn't a student, so he doesn't get one. But he's gonna, she's gonna send it to all the students, and she starts off with um, Laurel. At least that's who we see. So Laurel, right now, she's dealing with the fact that her father is in town. Her father's showing interest in her. I, again, it's very weird. But Laurel goes and puts it out there that you know what yeah i'm doing all right all right look she was pregnant she uh you know had an abortion she doesn't want mom to know because mom is catholic and would just judge her and do x y and z the whole holy water bring her in to meet the priest you name it so that's what she's telling him i'm thinking laurel you so-called love wes but you killed the child that you had together. So I was over it from the jump. The first couple of minutes, I was already over it. And I'm also thinking, you don't like this man. This is this man responsible for killing what? Oh. So this is a plot to get closer to him so that you can get more information. That's how I took it. Because they even took a picture together. Laurel had that look of, she wanted to kill her father herself with that whole picture situation. And again, we do this fast forwarding of, and she gets to the dinner table where everyone is there. Mind you, what happened to uh, Connor? I I was trying to figure out why does he look so different. At first, I almost thought that they changed the actor. I thought they got him a stunt double or something, but no, he the beard is gone because I forgot that he even had one. I I don't care. He annoys me, but and he got a haircut, so he looks completely different. And I don't know, maybe he even lost some weight in the face or something. But it was I said that can't be that can't be the same person. Annalise has these letters for all of them. We don't know what's in the letters yet. She's on the plane because she's going to meet her mother, you know, Miss Cicely Tyson herself. And there's this guy who's on the plane. And I looked at him and said, this looks familiar. I said, this is nice. They have chemistry, even though she's trying to blow him off. They, they, they have chemistry, Mr. Desmond. And I said, wait a minute. That's her husband in real life. Yes, that's her husband in real life. She, he convinced her to, you know, at least give him some type of attention and talk about a story about how, you know, his mother, no, was his auntie always said that he talked too much, but he still talked anyway. Annalise doesn't really care. She apparently takes his phone number down, you know, to be nice. But when she gets to her mother's house, she opens the door. There's his bell. And we learn that the bell is there because her mother, you know, she's has dementia and it's getting worse. So she keeps wandering off. Her sister's there to greet her. And so the mother's happy that Annalise is there. She's filling up on her jaw like, dang, what happened to the bookcase that used to be on your butt is? <laughs> yeah, that used to be a shelf. <laughs> now she's still fine. Anywho, and everything's cool, great. Everyone's just kind of going around the table, talking about stuff. Uh, the mom's really happy to have Annalise. And then things take a turn because the mom realizes why Annalise is really there. Annalise is really there to go and see if she can get her mother into a nice home. So it's an ambush. 
Her and her sister thought of it. The father wasn't aware of that. The father was pissed because he's saying, I can take care of your mother all by myself. And Ali's just like, now? When you want to be here for her now, what happens when you don't want to be for her? Be here for her. And the mom was pissed because she said, you know what? You need to do anything for me. I thought that my daughter was here because she didn't see me in a while. But no, you're here to put me away? Okay, well, why don't you go and leave and never come back? I said, oh, God, no, no, no. So, Annalise, she's trying to make up with her mom. She brought her some, what was it, cobbler. And her phone rings. She gets a call saying that it's a problem. Bonnie's saying that at least Bonnie hasn't changed much. Uh, Bonnie never really changes. <laughs> but they're trying to go and see if Annalise will still be allowed to practice law or not. So she's going to have to come home because it's a mess. It's a mess. She may get her license revoked. She's over it. Ugh, her father is the bane of her existence. So it looked like she wanted to train. She really wanted to train. I th said, don't get on the phone. What are you doing? What are you doing? So she was looking up AA meetings. Nope, nothing really there. I said, Annalise, don't get the bottle. Don't get the bottle. But she found the napkin with Desmond's name on it and phone number. So she goes and sneaks out. Her father's passed out. You know, he's an alcoholic. Huh? 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 Her father's an alcoholic. She sneaks out and she goes and she meets up with Desmond. The thing with that is it didn't go so well. He, they went to the hotel room. Desmond was like, hey, why don't we go downstairs? She said, no, no, and they start making out. Everything's going good. I said, oh, now this feels natural. Oh, I said, yeah, that's her husband. That's why. Next thing we know. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that, guys. That was my um, work colleague calling. Um, but Annalise, she's getting down with uh, Desmond and his phone rings his phone because he even took off the panties i said oh his phone rings and then we see that she has that look of oh <laughs> hell no a, a married man that's immediately what she's thinking but then he comes out of the bathroom because he goes into the bathroom he's like Shh, i'm thinking what who are you so he was like no no it's not what you think that's my daughter i'll call her look she's currently in what is it like in Los Angeles, wherever she is, and I always tell her to give me a call when she comes in. So I said, oh, that, that's nice. And I'm like, I really want to believe him. I really do. And he said, look, I'm being honest. I'll call her back right now. This will be very awkward, but I definitely want to do that. And she said, no, no, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be doing it the same way. It's like, what? What's wrong? Because then he kind of stops her, and then they start to kiss in, and they start to hugging and feeling. But we have this issue of, Annalise stops and he was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, because she gave him the name Bonnie. She was saying, oh, my name is Bonnie. But when she was leaving, she said, you know what, you don't even know, you don't even know my real name. My name is Annalise. And he was like, huh? It's like, yeah, so I have to go. And I said, oh, Annalise, you're not the booty call type. Y you are, but I guess, you, I guess you just in that moment realize, no, I can't be doing this right now. Mm -mm. I'm just trading one addiction for the another really is that's really what she was doing so i was a little bit proud but almost like hey Lisa, oh, you could have gotten yours it would have been okay she has to sneak back in the house and i thought her mother was going to catch her i was convinced her mother was going to be like what are you doing but yeah her mother was up because she was ready she's like anime 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 get up get up that's that's burned down that's burned down we can you remember she keeps reliving this moment when curtis um, when she burned the house down because Curtis went and raped Annalise, well, Anna May, and, and so then she was like, Mama, Mama, wait, you're dr Mama, Mama, I'm here, he's dead, he is dead, wait, was, is this name Curtis or Clive, either way, uh, her uncle, he's dead, and we see that she actually peed herself, and I said, oh my god, oh, poor baby, so, and at least it's just like, you know, I got you. Connor and Michaela, not Connor and Michaela. See, I like that flow better. Connor and Michaela. Asher and Michaela, they're going bed shopping. And we see that this guy, it's not even that he's hitting on Michaela, but he is a male. He's in shape. He's black. So Asher is immediately threatened. Like, all right. So me and my girlfriend, we gonna go. We. Bring it around town! Bring it around town! 
I'm doing the nasty, you know, doggy style, birdie, kitty cat. <laughs> yeah. And so she tells the guy I need to go. They get a message from Annalise. She's kind of over it because she's wondering. Because now Michaela's thinking, oh, God. Asher, you're a fool, but why is Annalise contacting us now? Maybe she got this bar. And Asher's on the bright side. I think that's how his personality is. Oh, well, maybe she's telling us great news. Like, this is a Last Supper type of situation. What are you talking about? She wasn't wrong. She wasn't wrong. Annalise went and, you know, she gave her mother a bath. And then her mother starts singing the song to her that she used to sing to uh, every night when she went to sleep. And it was just nice how it came full circle. Annalise was there to help her mother, support her mother. And her, her mother said, you know what? Why don't we go and visit the place tomorrow? Because she realizes she needs help. And what would have happened to her if Annalise wasn't there? What if she really thought the house was burning? What if she simulated the house burning herself? And who knows? They go to the nursing home and it, it looked depressing it lo you just saw all these tired older people oh it's like oh i'm thinking dang are they medicated or something is that the case but this nursing home it costs five thousand dollars and they treat for different types of ailments since she has you know early stages of dementia that's what they're going to do a lot of memory training with her so i said okay that's cool they're talking about look at all the people who were a part of this nursing home they're all white <laughs> i'm thinking mm, that's not gonna sell these black people no it's not don't do that so while she's going and looking into things we get this issue of her father's pissed because he's saying he can handle it he can handle it at least try to tell him dude you can't handle your liquor how can you handle my mother who's has early signs of dementia and he said you know what do you even realize that these spurts weren't happening while you weren't here they only happen when you are around i looked at him like even if that's true doesn't make it right she still has a problem regardless she's just deflecting and that was hurtful because it's not annalise's because it almost like to seem like it's annalise's fault that she got raped and because she got raped uh, and things went left because you left and so that man came into their household and there was no one there to protect her well hmm from being molested because her mother when she found out did what needed to be done but the mom came in and said i am not gonna allow you to to act a fool in other people's homes and disrespect me in the process why don't you do this why don't you why don't you chill out get it together i'm disappointed in both of you cut it cut it out you better cook that up right now. You better cook that right right now. I said, ooh, y'all in trouble. Y'all in trouble. So, so we see Frank. Frank is still trying to go and see how he can make amends with Annalise. Go on. I come yeah, so that was my mom. <laughs> now, Frank, he's dealing with a lot because... She's still trying to go and get Annalise back. He's trying to see if he can take the suitcase money, which is the money that was given to him when he agreed to essentially inadvertently end up getting Annalise's baby um, killed because he ratted her out um, and planted that mic, which gave the information to the Mahoney's and all that stuff. So anyway, he wanted to use that money to give her a new office. And Bonnie's like, no, we're not doing that. Why don't you go and figure something out? I'm and then they kind of briefly discuss Laurel, and that's a mess in itself. So we're going to end that conversation. So Annalise, she's not really talking. Her sister is there in support. Annalise finally makes that she doesn't have the money coming in right now. She's not sure if her job's secure because her sister's like, well, at least we have our job. She's like, maybe not. And uh, But before that, she said because of everything that's going on, Sam's sister, and that's what Bonnie called her about. Uh, Sam's sister's trying to contest the rightful ownership of the house, which means that the insurance money will be stuck for a while until Bonnie could get an emergency hearing to clear that. So Annalise doesn't have any money coming in, so she couldn't pay for the nursing home even if she wanted to. And because she was she had alcohol in her system because she was on probation, um, 
after you know being arrested and finding alcohol in her system the first time and being under the influence when the house burned down and when all that stuff so that's why her job's in jeopardy it's just too much it's just too much going on right now so annalise's mother kind of just says you know what my baby doesn't deserve this and she said what you don't deserve having all this grief i didn't have you just to, for you to have all this grief, all this loss, one person, especially my baby, having to go through this is too much for one person. I'm going to make sure I stay around as long as I can so that I can be there for you. I said, oh my God. Oh my God. That is love. Wow. Because she said, your husband, your child, your house, it's just, you still, it's too much. It's just too much. Now, um, we see that her father, he's getting a lock installed on their door and he'll have, he'll be the only one with the key. So he's like, you know what? At least this should help stop her leave. And Annalise's just like, okay, whatever. But look, she's in your hands because I can't really do anything. One thing's for certain, two things for sure. You better make sure my mother's good. You better make sure she's good or else. That's all I need from you. So when she was about to leave, he said, I'm, you know, and I'm sorry. I said, okay, great. But about what, you know, about, uh, you know, your uncle and him less than you and, you know, me not being there to try to you. He didn't say that in detail, but I'm saying what he should have said. And so for a moment, Annalise almost had that look of <laughs> like, daddy, daddy. But then she, she was like, all right, I'll call you when I get to the airport. And I said, okay, well, that's a start. They went from borderline almost like despising each other to I'll make sure you know that I'm okay. Hey, it has to start somewhere. So this is where Annalise is on the flight back. And she's essentially saying, look, the dinner's at eight. Be there soon. She has a hearing and Bonnie, you know, to see if she can continue to practice law or not. And Bonnie, she's trying her hardest. She's like, you know what? We're going to call for her ev evidence was tampered with, you know, with the timing and all that evidence was tampered with. Haley said, Bonnie, you don't have to do that. I did. She said, what? Yeah, I did it. I drank. I sure did. I enjoyed it. You know why I did it? Because I was going through a lot and I wasn't handling it the way that I should have handled it. I know. I know it's on probation because I got in trouble the first time, but... I need you to give me a chance, another chance, because, well, your probation was that chance. No, I lost everything. A student died because I was too drunk to make sure to have my bearings to make sure that everything was good around me. Her husband died, killed, her student killed. She was like, Wes. He went and tried to kill himself, and the fact that I was drunk, I couldn't st help stop him. I said, oh my God, Wes better begin to check. I'm telling you this right now, because it, it seems like in every episode, we're going to mention him. And it, that, and that's how it should be. If you're going to kill me off, and I was one of the biggest parts of the show, I want to be everywhere. I want to be in multiple flashbacks. I'm not going anywhere. I'm making a cameo. I'm going to be like, what's good? I'm going to be stalking people. I'll be their shadow. But I'm not going anywhere. So now we're back at the dinner table, the, the, the scene, and it's kind of this whole thing of Mikhail's just like, all right, just tell it that you got this bar. Nope, actually, I'm reinstated. They're like, oh, celebration. She said, well, let's not celebrate yet. And they're trying to give Laurel um, some alcohol. And she was just like, you know what? No, none for me because I'm decided to keep the baby. And they were so happy. And uh, even Asher was like, oh, so Connor and uh, Oliver are going to be the gunkle, you know, the gay uncle. <laughs> but that wasn't it. That wasn't it. She said, I need for you guys to go and look at the letters that I gave you. And there were release letters. She said, I'm letting you go. I'm disbanding, you, disbanding the Keaton 5 group. It's going because... Ever since you got, you guys were actually decent people. Ever since you've been around me, things have gone left. I'm thinking, all of them are convoluted. All of them are messed up. All of them are a mess. Let's make sure, let's make that very clear. But I understand where Annalise's point of view. She's a type where things happen and she just takes responsibility for everything, for all of it. That's just her nature. 
So that's what she's trying to do too. She's trying to release them because she knows that nothing good could come about them all just banding together and staying together. They're just going to be a part of more foolery. And so then Laurel's pissed because she's like, wait a minute. So we're here because of you. Wes is dead because of you. And I said, Laurel, shut up. No one likes you anyway. <laughs> no one likes, I mean, no one likes you anyway. Go. Be gone. Then Michaela was pissed because Michaela's like, how are you going to do this to us? My GPA is in tubes and I'm like a two point something. And at this point, I can't, I, you know, I'm just a joke. I'm just a, a joke. All the stuff that's happened all the time is wasted. All the sacrifice, all the blood on their hands uh, because of you. And I'm thinking, hold up. All of you are trash. And at least it's been covering for all of you. Let's be very clear. Each and every one of you on some level. So let's stop and fake and... Hmm. Yep, mm -mm. Annalise isn't in the wrong. Annalise is still trying to do right by you, little ungrateful. Asher was upset, but he was more so hurt. When Kayla went and took that bottle, Asher was just like, you know what, maybe you don't go and, you know, piss off the people who really had your back. And I said, look, she's trying to protect y'all. She actually likes, loves y'all. I, I don't know why, but she does. You know Connor was out. He said, all right, cool, whatever. This whole episode, which I somehow I skipped over, Connor and Ash, Connor and uh, what's Oliver, and Oliver, Oliver wants to get married. Oliver wants to get married really badly. And it just irks me. I'm like, dang, Oliver, it's really annoying. I almost forgot about it. And at least got a new place. And no, I, look, I didn't forget what she did. She also gave a letter to Bonnie. Now that's a reason, that's a person to be mad. Bonnie is a day one ride or die. She's a true day one ride. Don't you ever get it twisted. Now that hurt me. I said, Bonnie doesn't have anything. And with you being out of her life, she's not just going to go magically get something and her life's going to be better. You know this woman's a wreck. You know she's broken and she's damaged. That's why she latched on to you. Now that hurt me. That hurt me. Apparently, guess who's living in Wes's old apartment? The one, the only, Laurel. I said, oh God, this is a mess. Um, Oliver was reading, you know, Connor's letter because everyone had letters and Connor's was essentially like, you know what? You're smart, you're clever. Uh, Laurel was just like, you know, you're quiet, but you know, that quiet demeanor is, it's your, uh, you know, take charge. You know who you are. You're self-assured. You're unwavering. Michaela, who you are, spitfire. You get things done. You don't quit. And uh, Michaela's drinking. She's pissed. Like, oh, that, that, that. why'd she go and do this? And she's, yeah, and uh, she's yelling at Asher, like, look, he needs to come over here. It's like, oh, okay. Look, my goal was to be the Michelle. And you're going to be a... You're going to be my, like, vanilla, white, Brock, whatever. Get your laptops out. We're going to go redo our resumes. We're going to kill it. Because I'm not going to let her go and mess this up for me. I'm thinking, Michaela, I forgot how much you got on my nerves, too. Oliver's whole mantra is, why don't we get married? Why don't we get married? Oh, yeah. Oliver and um, Connor, when they were at a gay bar, I guess, and there was this woman who was there i don't know why she chose the gay bar well, okay um to have a stripper there and she was all over it because she was going to get married tomorrow one of her friends was just like oh um you know we dared someone to go and dance or kiss a guy in the red shirt and that's you and connor was like no it's not now uh connor told oliver he doesn't want to get married because he is he wants to see if they still like each other when things are good because right now because of all the negativity that's going on that's kind of forced them to come together and be a unit he wants to make sure that their relationship is weird connor with absolutely no facial hair i don't know why he, it, i guess if he came on the show like that i wouldn't care it just creeps me out a little bit i'm like something is missing you know there's just some people that you feel like need something or you were like you know what look cooler if you had this you said that's connor for me laurel she sees this picture from her father saying oh you know see how much we look like see how happy we were 
in the picture, she was like, oh, why did you kill Wes? I said, that's right, babe. That's right. You got my nerves, but yes, you have the right mentality. And she has her stomach all out. So yeah, she's still pregnant, which we already knew, or at least I already knew. She even has a gun. She's ready to go. We see Bonnie. She's down at the courthouse. Nate's there looking at her like, so what are you doing here? She doesn't say anything. She just walks into the DA's office. Tra uh -uh. I, mm -mm, this is a plan. You know, I don't know what plan this is. I don't like it. But I wouldn't be surprised if Bonnie's trying to go on the other side to protect Annalise. You never know. Annalise has this new place. It, it looks older, but it, it'll work. She's going to pay a month at a time there. And she has to go to a mandated therapy. Now, her same therapist comes to the hospital because like, oh my God, she overdosed on pills. I, I got him here as soon as I could. Frank is there like, what's going on? It's Laurel. Laurel's in the hospital because she lost the baby. So I'm looking at this like, what happened? Look, I'm convinced if Laurel was five months, uh, you know, the storyline was Laurel was five months when she was at that table. Three months later is when she was in the hospital bed. So, uh, no, or she has five more months or something like that. <sighs> And then it was three months later, so she only had two more months. Which means to me that either someone took that baby. I'm sorry, I don't believe that that baby's dead. You're going to have to convince me otherwise. Someone took that baby. She had drugs in her system. Oh, this doesn't even make any sense. I'm trying. This is. Did her father find out? And I don't know. So please like, comment, subscribe. Jesus, we're back.